This tutorial will be a brief demonstration about how to create continuous scripts. So there are various uh, texts that you can use to create these scripts. Uh, I often like to use an excerpt from an upcoming reading so that when the students get to that reading a few days later there's a larger context for it and a kind of an echo effect because they've already worked with the text. You can also use uh, an excerpt from you know, the day's reading, something that the students are working on currently, but has significance, so it might be a passage that you want to give a close reading to. <clears throat> and one of the favorite uh, areas I like to use is uh, an excerpt from some kind of uh, recognizable genre, poetry, for instance, uh, a sonnet, or perhaps a villanelle, or part of a villanelle, and to see if the students can recognize the form uh, as it emerges from the continuous script. Uh, here's an example. Uh, this is uh, the sestet of an Italian or Petrarchan sonnet uh, written by Gerard Manley Hopkins called uh, God's Grandeur. So these would be the last six lines. So this would be the text that you would grab and say, well, I'm going to turn this into a continuous script. The first thing that you do is remove all the manuscript conventions. You take out the capitalization and the punctuation, and you end up with just a series of words. This is what I call an intermediate script, and after you've had the students work with a few continuous scripts, uh, it isn't necessary for them to uh, separate the letters into words any longer. Uh, it would be um, probably a more pleasant experience after two or three continuous scripts to start working just with intermediate scripts like this. But this is the true continuous script. Now this is the way uh, text often appeared in medieval manuscripts because parchment was so rare uh, that it had to be preserved and utilized. And so scribes would often remove the spaces between the words and jumble all the letters together in order to stuff as much text onto a piece of parchment as possible. And they wouldn't begin to punctuate it or capitalize it uh, because that was the work of the scholar. The scholar not only had the responsibility for interpreting the text, he had to actually see the text. And this is what he called uh, studying his letters which is to separate the letters out into words and build the manuscript and then uh, try to read the manuscript for significance. Uh, usually the first time or two I work with a continuous script, I'll actually make it look more like a medieval script, something like this, which might be the way a parchment appeared that was produced in the 12th century, for instance. <clears throat> now, once the students get the script, the first thing they're going to do uh, is use ha little slash marks to separate the letters into words. And so once they've correctly done this, and sometimes there's a little ambiguity about it, but sometimes after they've done this, they really have, in fact, created the intermediate script. And now all there is for them to do is to figure out what kind of text this is, um, where the complete thoughts begin and end, uh, so where to capitalize and put uh, punctuation like periods, uh, to establish other manuscript conventions like uh, paragraph conventions, for instance, in denting. But it probably isn't long with a text like this before someone in the room starts to recognize that there are words that appear to rhyme and they seem to be at regular intervals. And when that happens, uh, you can begin to help them by putting in the line breaks. And once you do that, it becomes rather obvious that you're dealing with some very regular poetic text. The students can even begin to count syllables and put in stress marks and realize that they're dealing with lines of uh, roughly iambic pentameter and that they have the last six lines of an Italian sonnet rhyming CD, CD, CD. So this is some of the various uses of a continuous script, but more specifically how to build one, uh, to, to capture the text and then to remove the manuscript conventions, uh, remove uh, the punctuation and the capitalization, and then finally remove the spaces between words and have the students begin to build a text from the letter up. So this is how to create and use continuous scripts in your classroom.